How are we YouTube? George here. Hope you're all well and happy. And uh, what we have here is from Billy. This is the Radio Shack Digital SWR Power Meter uh, for Accurate HF Ham and CB Radio Antenna Adjustments Model MTA20. Uh, now, um, uh, I kind of jumped ahead a little. I have got this A part. And um, yeah, simple enough to get it asunder, a few screws, yada yada. So um, we have a LCD display here that's side lit by these here LEDs. So uh, Billy's got a few of these as far as I know. And uh, we're going to make all his station blue. Because uh, I have most of his station here and he's uh, doing a bit of work on his house and the whole lot so I'd say by the time I've got through everything he'll be got through everything so um, what we're going to do here now is we're going to uh, take this asunder well I have it asunder but I'm going to get these LEDs out and we're going to put in the new ones and put it back together and see what she looks like lit up now he must have got these in the states because they have uh, these here, you know, it's always important to pay attention to this stuff if you pick up something and you're not sure. Have a look at your uh, your transformer and make sure that, like you can see these ones, the input 120 volt AC, 60 hertz, 6 watts, output 12 volts at 200 milliamps. Um, so all that really does is it runs the logic and the lighting. So, uh, mm, um, just be careful if you get something like that. If you plug that into, I'm, I'm not sure what happened. I've never tried it, but I'm sure it wouldn't do it any favours if you plug that into 240 volt full fat. But um, I never use stuff like this, really. Um, I always either run off the bench supply or I'll have a dedicated 12 volt supply just for lighting and power. Um, that's kind of the way I do it. So, under my bench inside in the in the radio room is a uh, there's a 30 amp supply in there just for that kind of stuff. So, let's put you in the stand here. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. Uh, just so it happens, I have some of these in stock for the occasion. Uh, have these three mil flat LEDs. Uh, in blue of course so we're gonna put them in and see how it goes from there Thank you. 
这个魔咒So that is the finished product there uh, in blue. I meant to video putting it back together, but I got carried away. So it's just cycling through uh, all the ranges and stuff there because there, I don't have the the unit plugged into it. The actual brains that does the does the work. So it's just kind of going a bit nuts there. Uh, I suppose it'd be rude not to do a little. Uh, demonstration uh, so there's a little lead that goes from here uh, you've reflected forward and ground that plugs into the back of the, the unit here we have a, a Cobra here so let's put it on FM just to see uh, we'll put it on average and four watts there just over it so let's, let's see um right we'll put it on am one two one two check one two three four five put it on to peak and you should see a little bit more activity one two check one two one two check one two and we'll go to ssb one two Check, check, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see then. So, oh, it has this at the range. Alright. Uh, okay. So, auto. 200 watts is the maximum it'll do. So just set it to auto there. Uh, SWR. Oh, I'm not sure how this works. Yeah, so I have it going into the dummy load there. Uh, let me just check. Yeah. So. Uh, does we have any different range here? No. I didn't read the book, so I'm only guessing. Uh, so, right. It's a bit twitchy, these. Um, I don't like these pads that they have under these. Mm, maybe it only works on peak then, is it? Oh, 
Uh, there you go. Yeah, so it works. It's, uh, it's quite a neat little thing. I've never seen one of these before. So, um, more RF power, SWR, range, I don't know how I didn't. Let's see. Peak, average peak, yeah, it's all working there. Uh, SWR, cool. So, there we go, there's average. So, um, he has a few of these, I think, so I have to do the rest of them. So uh, everything matches. It was an absolute pig of a job because they had to pull the whole thing asunder. And uh, the LEDs that they were using in them were these. They're kind of like a side mount. Uh, let's see if we get one there. Now focus. You see it there. For like a little side mount job. So, uh, of course, I don't have any of those, so I had to make a few modifications to make what I had work, which it does, and uh, I'm sure he'll be pleased with that now. So he'll look, I, I will assume he's going to have all three of these, I think it's three or four of them he said he's got, so um, we'll get all the rest of them done whenever they turn up, and... Uh, you know he can have all four of them beside one another and little label on them what they're for which radio they're for or whatever the case may be so uh yeah quite cool looks a simple little job but um a couple hours in it all the same and uh yeah turned out nice so that's it for now we'll get you in the next one bye bye